Um, in terms of the process and how I arrived at some of this, when I take I started working from a lot of collage material that I had used um, in re regards to the coloring book and the Dick and Jane uh, books and some of the the uh, the old books from my childhood uh, and. The, a lot of those will get cut up and reworked as collage material. Then I draw them very much the same way. I take a piece from here, a piece from there, certain techniques or elements that I like, and I try to put them together. In this particular litho, um, same thing. It's it's you've got elements from the comic book, you've got elements from tattoo influence and, and uh, religious iconography. Um, and people say, well, gee, what is that? And I say, well, it's obvious. It's two kids running out of the woods with a flaming skull chasing them, spitting ice cream cones at them. I mean, what? What's not to what's not to see there? Um, so it, it all comes together in a in a collage kind of way. Um, when it goes back into printmaking, this is a this is a, a three color litho done with uh, stone and plate. Um, when it rejoins some of the other work, it's it comes in. Uh, this is a silk screen on panel um, where it's a painting ground is developed. Uh, the imagery is burned into a screen. It's dropped onto the into the painting and reworked as part of a layered uh, system in there. As I as I add some hand drawn elements and uh, uh, sometimes uh, paint things out or sand them off completely, and it just becomes another layer, another veil of, of graphic language within the work. Um, so even the paintings or whatever the multimedia projects end up having a printmaking feel. Um, this palette is a little richer. Uh, it's a little denser, a little stronger. I was interested in having the white imagery come off the off the colored background. Um, so so many of the drawings are black line on white ground that I, I actually wanted to reverse that and, and see the effects of that and see the white line on the dark ground. 